Okay, this is um this is stacks on my feet. Stacks on my feet. We can wiggle to the beat. It's by Black Caviar. The way that it go the way that it goes from these lo-fi chords into the beat is just so cool. That 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 is so hard. Now here's something really interesting about this song. This song is actually kind of difficult to DJ with. It's a lot slower than most tracks. I think this is at maybe 120 BPM, and it, I'm used to DJing at around like you know 124, maybe even up to 128 or 130. But and obviously, I can just raise the BPM of this. I can I can just raise the BPM of this track, but. It, it there's something about like the beat and like the the chord stabs that are just kind of difficult to manage. It's a, I mean, maybe you have maybe you can relate to that, but nonetheless, so good. About a week ago, I made a post about Dennis Cruz's Dark Side, and I used the example of his song Shake It. Someone in the comments recommended that I check out his song Mad, so let's listen to it for a little bit. But if that's the way it's supposed to be, we know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living room. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel built and radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. You know, okay, I see what you mean by this would be Dennis Cruz's dark side. Uh, but like, I feel like it's not as dark as Shake It. I mean, it's fantastic. Like, come on, I mean, it's Dennis Cruz. He, he, and anything he touches turns to gold. But I wouldn't even say this is dark side. I mean, this is tech housey, you know? I mean, in the comments, what would, what genre exactly would you say this is? Okay, okay, okay. So this is Spiritual by Real People. This song came out in 2001. Yeah. This song is really important to me because I love jam music. I'm a big Grateful Dead fan, big Fish fan. And this track is a bunch of live instruments and two elongated solos. The first one is acoustic guitar. The second one is more of like a, is more of like a, like a flute. Like, listen to this. Come on now. That's just, that's, that's just good stuff. That's fantastic. So, uh, th and it's just gorgeous. So this is Spiritual, the instrumental version by Real People. Came out in 2001. This is one of my favorite house songs ever. We love Dennis Cruz. He has a record label called Muse. Wow, that rhymed. Didn't even mean to do that. On this record label, Bison Lopez is an artist who has tons of releases. This track, only to find, I was listening to, I was actually at a work conference and I was walking around in a suit with, uh, like I was going back to my room, I had headphones in. And as I was listening to the drop, I was like, this is amazing. Listen to the little beep right at the climax, okay? I'm gonna point when it's the beep, okay? Here, let's rewind a little bit, hold on. <laughs> Sorry for ruining it with the RMX. I feel like that was kind of off. That was that wasn't very quantized. That wasn't very quantized of me. Excuse me. <laughs> Last week I made a video about Shoke, S H O K E, specifically their EP Rock the Planet. I found Shoke through listening to Michael Bibby. Michael Bibby also uses a lot of tracks by an artist called Mant, M-A-N-T. And I found this track, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. I found this track through a Michael Bibby set. This is What You Think. And this is, this is so like 5 a.m. dark room, just locked in house music. <laughs> Wow. Wowzers. They, they have another track called No Turning Back that you should check out. I mean, their whole catalog is absolutely fantastic. And th these guys 
just in my opinion, they, they sound so minimal deep tech. Like it, it, it's it's in that same wavelength of like uh, like Cicero and uh, and Shoke and all like all these guys. It's like this really just like locked in sound. I, I, that, that honestly locked in is a great way to explain that. May the 4th, 2023. What is the significance of this date? Let me tell you. What we're listening to right now is Body Beat by Cicero. And this was the first track that I played when I DJed a headlining spot at Embird in Tampa, which is the absolute most poppin' place in town to get the best, most authentic house music in Tampa. Let's listen to this for a second. I, I got more to say. Here, here, here comes Graham with the, with the RMX. Yeah, so this song is fantastic. And one thing I want to say about this song, even with like the synth um, pattern in the back, and it sounds like there's a lot going on, this track is very useful in sets because it it's it, it's not like crazy exciting but it has a great break to a great drop and it's very like easy to dj with it, it's the structure of it is very very good it's all it's also off of elro which is like an amazing record label uh-oh uh-oh we got a we got a cool cat alert we're listening to a track by flat 22 and um juice cartel right now now it let me tell you something about Flat 22 and Juice Cartel. They are both Graham Radio alumni. They both did sets on my channel. And these are Flat 22. Wow, I'm looking at myself in my camera right now. I look good. Come on now, I must start wearing these more often. These are, these are Flat 22 glasses. On the inside it says, for club use only. I don't know if you can see that. But this is... What Really Matters by Juice Cartel and Flat 22. I mean, these guys are just kings of the vibe. Last week, I talked about Funny House, and I used Mr. Snifferson as an example. This, what we're listening to right now, is the first Funny House song that, I ever, that I've ever heard. I found this from a Bonnaroo 2014 set, Sunrise set, Skrillex and Miha. This is the first track on it. It's called Breakfast, and it's by Lele. Let's listen for a second. Lele on my bread, the French on my toast, where the was that? bitch you I try to keep it PG on here. Sorry. Your breakfast. Yeah. Flip Jackson Bacon. Let me sip your OJ. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, Neil and Granola. Your breakfast. It's just a wonderful song. Yeah, bitch. And my, my uh, playlist. So ma make sure you save Graham's playlist. That's in the bio. But go to my profile on Spotify and the Funny House is pinned. So you can save that too. And it's just a bunch of funny house. Also, if you know any funny house songs, just DM me. I, I, I love this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, you breakfast. Yeah. I'm a big fan of goofy things. Okay. So this track is, is Get Jiggin' by Daniel Orpy. This track's music video. Wait, let's listen for a second. Yo, my cardio is invented. Aha. It's like in it, like a British guy. In it. Okay. Terrible joke. Sorry about that, everybody. Yup. So the the music video for this. I mean, you're watching it right now. It's just absolutely 
10 out of 10 goofy daniel orpy fantastic artist he also has tracks on i think okay so together off of deep perfect he also has a track called Siantilo that i've literally rinsed i need like a new towel because of how many times i've rinsed it in immersive groove more like the earlier immersive groove stuff but nonetheless daniel orpy fantastic stuff and he also uses i think he uses like a like an like a i think it's called an mc505 groove box to make his um to make some of his tracks which is like such a cool thing to do so yeah daniel orpy get jiggin check it out Okay, we have another funny house song. Uh, someone commented that I should check out Bathroom by Green Velvet. Let's just listen for a second. This is so, this is such a funny house song. Use the bathroom, uh, don't let them fool ya. Back with my friends. They say, watch our things. While we go to the bathroom. Just, it's like, okay. It's like, nice. It's like, hilarious. Many times they leave and they be gone way too long. It's like all my friends went to the bathroom and they they're, now I'm just here by myself. That's upsetting. But great song. <laughs> We have another funny song, and this should be, co I mean, hey, hey, hey. listen, Dateless, I don't mean to tell on you, but I think that this is copyrighted, like, from a movie, but whatever, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not the feds, but I think this is from old, I think it's from old school, I could be wrong. Oh. 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 Yes. yes! That's awesome! What? What? You just, you just took one in the jugular, jugular man. man. I think it's from old school. <laughs> like, that's Whoa. Will Ferrell, right? Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I did. I did. Is, this is this bad? bad? <laughs> is this bad? <laughs> you should pull you should that pull out. That, that shit is not cool. Wait. 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 Pull one out. out. The dark, the dark man. man. Got a fucking dog in there. there. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Like this is this is a house song. I like, I like you. you. <laughs> you're crazy. It's like okay. <laughs> awesome. Th thank you, Dateless. The, the the song is about this by Dateless. The demons have taken over. I have gotten incredibly into. Ricardo Villa 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 Lobos. Ricardo Villa Lobos. So when I work, I, I mean I work a lot. You you might not know I'm an attorney. I, I like to listen to like chill music, and I've heard you know Ricardo Villa, Villa Lobos is good, but I've never gotten into him. I, I have been cons I have been consuming Ricardo Villa Lobos. One thing I did not know about Ricardo Villa Lobos is that. He has songs on Spotify from the early 2000s that are 18 and 20 minutes long. This is Blood on My Hands, the Ricardo Villalobos Apoca Apocalyptic remix. It's by Shackleson and Ricardo Villalobos. And it's, it's basically just this, but like altered throughout for, for like, for eight, this is an 18 minute song. <laughs> it's great. It, it, it is. It, I mean, I, I literally, li I listen to this while, while I'm working. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Some 07 Ricardo. <laughs> Last week, I made a post about Shoke, and someone said that I should check out their song 404. I, I, I already knew that song, but I want you to check it out because it's really, really good. I'm gonna add a little bit of spice to it.
Come on now. Shoke isn't messing around. Matroda. In 2018 or 2019, someone sent me Jack the House EP by Matroda. And I listened to that. I think it's maybe a four or five track EP over and over and over again. It's heavy. I honestly think that this is a great introduction into Tech House. Just listen how good this is. It's, he it's heavy. It's very, very heavy. But like, I, I, I feel like this is what, when people think of Tech House, this is what, I, this is what I think of when I think of just quintessential Tech House. This is what it sounds like. Okay, Brat Summer might be over, but not on this channel, damn it. Okay, so we all know the song. The day, yeah, I think he's with it. Get a uh, guess by Charlie XCX. So this uh, artist, this artist, Planet Marte, Marte in uh, Miami. El color de mi she did it in Spanish. What I got down there. <laughs> So cool. And weird coincidence. Uh, she posted recently and she kind of looked like Charlie XCX. So I commented that she like, like the Charlie XCX of Miami. I don't know. I said something. And, and then like three days later, she comes out with this. So I don't know. That must have been on purpose. Maybe she like meant to look like Charlie XCX in that post. I don't know. Whatever. But either way, this is cool as hell. And you can buy this on Bandcamp, by the way. Uh, guess and uh, by Marte and V and V1 FRO. I was looking for tracks for Immersive Groove, and I found this one, Back For More, by James Wyler. A buddy of mine actually told me to check out James Wyler, and I was scrolling through his uh, discography. Found this one. Listen to this drop. A lot of attitude in this one, and also Slug has a remix of it, which is pretty cool, you know? So this is This Is Life by Nick Fansoli. Oh, wait, how do you say his name? Fanny Sioli. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nick. I have no idea how to say your last name. But I used this track as a reference track. Here's what I made. So let's just listen to the groove for a second because this is like really what I base my reference track off of. Comment how you think I did. And I, I'm pretty proud of it, honestly. The track is called 14.3, it's on SoundCloud. Check it out. Also check out my weekly immersive groove. It's a mix series, two hours of house music every single week. Check it out. I do all the art, I, I DJ all the stuff, and sometimes I even throw in some of my own productions, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, this is uh, this is Life by Nick Fancioli. And I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Let's just fast forward to the drop really quick. mess that up. Hold on. Wild. Just, just wild. 